Hi friends, welcome to Les Future. For the last three months, I've been knocking an idea around my head for a new story. And I've already started a Spotify playlist. That's when you know things are getting serious, when you start putting music to your thoughts. So I decided it's just time to finally sit down and do something about it, do some major plotting. I know the why of my story, the why I'm writing it, why it matters to me. So I have a good grasp on the beginning and the ending and a bunch of the characters and conflicts, but it's a fantasy. And more than that, it is a quest-based fantasy. So there's just a lot of plotting in the middle that needs to be done. <laughs> I've cleared a space on my wall. My plan is to just kind of generally plot out each chapter on a note card and tape it to my wall because I'm a visual person, okay? <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna start there. I have no idea how many note cards is this going to be? How many chapters I'm planning for? I do know that I think, I think I would like my word count to be above 100,000 words, which will definitely be the biggest project I've ever tried for. And I've never written a fantasy. I've been reading a lot of fantasy lately, so I'm kind of excited to write one. I've been thinking a lot about fate and predetermination in my own life and whether or not it exists. Let's get heavy for a second, guys. I don't really believe in like major coincidences. I think the universe is a little bit more magical than that, or at least I choose to believe that. And I just started thinking about this character and his relationship to fate itself. And I just got like a whole bunch of really cool ideas and I can't tell you much more than that, but I'm really excited by this story. By this idea so i have also resigned to like just not telling any of my friends what this story is about because i think that takes some of the magic out of writing it for me um and so far it's working like a bunch of my friends know that i have this story that i want to write and i'm really passionate and excited about it and they ask me what it's about and i'm like i'm just not gonna nothing you get nothing from me and I think it's working. I think it's it's like building this little ball of excitement within me. And I think it's gonna really help motivate me to actually write it. So I think that was a good decision. I think I'm gonna continue doing that. I also just tend to really hate talking about my passion projects anyway. So it's a great excuse. <laughs> I hate that I can't really show you much of what I'm writing on these cards. This is like an example card. So up here in the corner in purple, I've written the chapter number or the part number, whatever these things are. I come up with like just kind of a fun chapter name so that when I glance real quick over to my wall, I can find it a little easier. I've got main event written down in black. So that would be like Luke Skywalker leaves Obi-Wan and returns home. Then in red, I have the main conflict. Luke Skywalker discovers all his family is dead. And then in black again, I have kind of any closing events, so new decisions basically. Luke Skywalker decides to go off on a space quest. That was an awful example. Also up in this corner under the chapter number, I've been writing kind of what part of the story structure this chapter falls under, such as Catalyst, or if it's part of the setup, or the Dark Knight of the Soul, etc. I cannot believe I just said etc in a video. So I've got my 12 chapters here. They don't feel necessarily like chapters as much as they do like the big beats of the story, the big 12 building blocks, I guess. Um, but I feel pretty good about it. I feel like I've got a huge chunk of the plot figured out. There's only one card on here that I couldn't fill out all the way because I feel like there's still some magical elements to this world that I'm trying to figure out and that are gonna play a huge role in that one card. So it's kind of blank for now, but I know the general beat. I also like tried to give them all like their chapter names to no, to no great avail. No, they're kind of terrible. <laughs> but I really enjoyed this process. I'm definitely a visual person, so to have this on my wall next to my writing desk is probably gonna be a game changer for me, honestly. It's a, it's a great place to start, I feel good. 
I'm gonna turn focus a little bit and try to write some lore. I'm in the mood to write something kind of fun, a low pressure writing environment. I think that's my plan for writing the lore, is to just have a good time and see what comes out. Um, and I think in doing this, I think I'm gonna come up with a lot of ideas for places to visit on this quest, characters to interact with. I'm gonna start with like the less important lore <laughs> and just have a good time with it. I wouldn't call this like a high fantasy, but there's definitely some world building that has to go on. Even if it's stuff that doesn't even appear in the book, stuff that the reader will never know, I think that it helps you as the writer write the story and, and characters and conflicts. Just kind of writing at least like a brief backstory for some of these cities and some of these minor characters I think is gonna go a long way. And I started a football. That's a film term. If you don't know what a football is, I do have a Pinterest page started for this story. I'm gonna show you this even though I'm gonna have to blur it out. Um, I made a collage of this Pinterest board that I started and printed it out and put it at the front of my football. A football in film is uh, the main notebook. It is the thing that gets passed around, hence the name football. So this is my football for this novel. But I wish I, wish I could show you this because it came out kind of cool. <sighs> One day, I'll like be laying in my bed at like 1 a.m. thinking about this story, trying to fall asleep. I'm sure you've been there and done that. I keep, that's why I keep this notepad, this tiny little notepad by my bed because I'll have just like really good thoughts that I wanna make sure I remember. So I have a bunch of these just stuck in here. Um, but yeah, like just, just like a bunch of little notes that I've started, ideas. I've got all these dividers. This one is for structure. So I've got a bunch of like, General ideas for structure. I've got a character tab, got a family tree. I'm gonna blur this out too. This is a map. Um, it's a really, it's a really bad map. Uh, so I'm really happy that I get to blur that out. Uh, and then we have a lore section, which has one, one thing in it, one thing that I've written up. But we need more. We need lots more. So that's the plan. I spent the better part of last night finishing up some lore that I started. I did stay pretty much in the unimportant lore, <laughs> except there was one story that I started writing about two significant characters that I really like, and I think I'm gonna find a way to incorporate it into the book. See, this, is, this was the great thing about writing the lore, was that I'm finding all of these little pieces that I can actually put into the story that I think will really enrich the world. I'm not putting like any pressure on it. Like I am just kind of pantsing the whole lore, right? I'm just sitting down to the, an empty keyboard and letting some thoughts flow. And that has been a really enjoyable thing for me as a major plotter. <laughs> so that is pretty much what I spent the night doing, stayed up pretty late. I went back and did a little bit more plotting of the end of the story, uh, ended up crying my eyes out. <laughs> So that's good. We love that. I woke up this morning and felt pretty inspired. So I actually wrote in the draft a good bit this morning, just like in the first chapter. Finding the voice has been really interesting. So this, there is a narrator to this story and it's a rather abnormal, like an atypical kind of narrator. So finding that voice has been interesting, um, frustrating at times, but I think I'm locking it in. So it's, it's becoming more and more fun to write. This whole process has been like a really great experience, like better than, I've started two major novels before this and those experiences have been kind of haywire because I think I was still learning a lot about story structure, but I finally feel kind of like in a place in my life where I've done enough writing to where story structure has become almost a second nature. And I think that makes plotting so much more enjoyable because I get out of here a little bit more but like doing the note cards and doing the lore, like I can't explain to you how much the lore has really helped me. <laughs> like I would recommend it to a writer, probably even if they weren't writing fantasy, like 
just write some backstory and and be super willy-nilly with it like don't get in your head about it just sit down and write things because like that's been eye-opening honestly just don't think about it just just i've been kind of just pantsing this first chapter which is so strange for me but in doing so i'm discovering a lot of more spontaneity in the scene that i think is really good like maybe i just plot the major beats and kind of pants my way through the rest i don't know um i'm just discovering a lot i think and i I think it's making the whole experience just a little bit more enjoyable. I guess I could give this project a name for you guys. Um, I do have a working title. It's probably going to change. I'm falling out of love with it a little bit. But for the moment, we're going to call this Project Chandelier. And I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> project Chandelier. All right, you cool kids. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm going to keep on writing a little bit. Um, I hope you got something out of this video, whether it was information, inspiration, or just a chill time. Thanks for hanging out. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay gay. Oh, gosh. <laughs>